Happy Friday, guys. This is Eugene from Stuff You Tech bringing you today's updates. So after AMD came out to announce the glorious Ryzen 5000 series CPUs and the RX 6000 GPUs, Intel quietly made their own announcement yesterday. Intel officially lifted the curtains of its 11th gen Rocket Lake desktop CPU, which will be launching in Q1 of 2021. Now, the latest benchmarks of Intel's Rocket Lake CPUs has leaked within user benchmark database. Intel's 11th gen Rocket Lake Core i9-11900K engineering sample, which everyone thinks that this is potentially what it's going to be called, we're not sure if it's an i7 or an i9 variant. This is still very early engineering sample. So we're expecting the core clock to actually go up to past five gigahertz. But for now, the single threaded performance of these CPUs are amazing. The CPU was tested on an MSI Z590A Pro motherboard, and it's an absolute beast. The max boost clock was only 4.2 gigahertz but like i've said we expecting this to go past 5 gigahertz when it actually retails in q1 of 2021 and if you've missed that part of the motherboard it is a new chipset motherboard it is the z590 which is quite interesting and it will still have the lga 1200 socket which means you can run both 10th gen and 11th gen on the socket. I feel like 10th gen had a very short lifespan. Currently, as I've said, there is no real name for this. This is still an engineering sample. So the name is Intel like four zeros, but this is expected to either be the i9 11900K or the i7 11700K. Comparing this to the current offerings from Intel, there are massive gains. And I'm sorry to say for all the AMD fans, which I am too, by the way, that if these results remain true and that a rocket lake can go past five gigahertz, then AMD's best processor in the world is going to be very short lived. If Intel can pull this off, they will definitely reclaim the best single core performance which ultimately will mean the best gaming processors. At this point, it seems like Rocket Lake CPUs will still be using the 14 nanometer process, which is a shame. It does look like Alder Lake, which is the replacement for Rocket Lake, will actually be on 10 nanometers. So good on you, Intel. I must say I am a little bit sad for AMD that their triumphant victory over Intel will probably only be short lived and that Intel will soon take that space back. Only time will tell, and with all of these shortages worldwide on graphics cards and probably CPUs from AMD as well, most of us will anyways have to wait for January 2021 after the mad season to grab these new items anyways. So if you are in a big rush, try and get pre-orders done quickly if you want your PC before Christmas. If you can afford to wait, I would say it's worth considering waiting for 2021 January when Intel finally launches their new Rocket Lake CPUs. I think it will bring some value to the market, even more value. And it's good to have an offering from Intel that can also kind of compete with what AMD is doing at the moment. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you've liked it, subscribe, hit that like button, tell your friends about it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Rocket League.